What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name's Chris. That's Mike. What up? Nosferatu, episode two, Mikey. This is called yeah. The Graveyard of What Might Be, and we'll get into what that is uh, shortly. Uh, but, dude, we got some... Um, this was an interesting episode. Um, I think there were some good parts and some maybe not so great parts, uh, which we'll get into. But first, uh, did you like the episode? Of course, yeah. I, I really uh, I really liked the episode, and we were talking a little bit already before. Uh, we have a lot of the same um, opinions after watching. Listen, it's a, the, sh the show is in its infancy. It's only the second episode, so... A lot of the questions from the from the previous review were we got right away in episode right. two. So, right. so clarifying yeah. details we got. So yes, I wrote it all down. Basically, Maggie and Vic finally meet. Okay, if you if you recall, Maggie's the I think medium. It was, uh, Iowa, Iowa, right? She made here, <laughs> Iowa. It's called made she it lives all the way to here, Iowa. Iowa. So yeah. so basically, what ends what hap This is the thing. This is what we found out. We'll just right off the bat. The Inscape. Inscape is the world is a world from your imagination. That's, so that's your imagination. That's a world that you've created in your imagination. And only strong, very strong creatives, yes. uh, people like Maggie and like Vic and like uh, Manx, they can bring them into the real world. Um, uh, uh, Vic's inscape is the bridge, which is called uh, the shorter way. That's what yes. her bridge is called. Yeah. And basically, um, these creatives can use what's called a, what's called a knife uh, which allows them to um, cut through the fabric of the real world and get to the, their inscape. And and Vic's bike happens to be her knife. Yes. So um, yeah. So so that's th that's essentially what what inscapes. Remember, we were like, "What the hell is an inscape? And what's all this?" So now we know it's 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 somebody it showed up on it showed up on Manx. Um, so he map. has the ability to see other people's inscapes. I think yeah. I think that's what that map yeah. is. Oh, you know absolutely. What I mean? yeah. So. Um, right. So, so and she, it's her really inevitably she has the ability to find lost things and she can find them by passing through this bridge, which is interesting. So when she meets Maggie, it's said on the bridge because it always it's always written in spray paint where she's going. Yeah. Or what she's looking for. What she's looking for. And it yeah. said here. No, no, no. It says where the I, where the thing is that she's looking for. So she, I guess at that point. So. All right, let's briefly talk about it. This was the the weakest part of the episode is this kind of character kind of building stuff with her mom and her dad. Mm. I mean, it, it's not that I don't want to say it's not that interesting and I guess we kind of have to get this stuff out of the way because it's it's defining who she is and where she's come from and where and why she's going to go where she's going to go in the story, I guess. Yeah. Um I didn't find it I mean, overtly interesting. I listen, I always love seeing um, her father, uh, the man that plays him, his name is Eben, right? I, I love seeing that guy act. I love everything that guy does, you know? So seeing him is cool, but he's with this girl. I forget her name. It doesn't matter. I think it was Tiffany. Sure. The bartender bitch. The bartender. It doesn't matter. You know, yeah. the mom shows up and, and, you know, like, which, which was interesting, you know, so it's, it's a whole domestic dispute type of thing. And, you know, whatever it is what it well, is well remember what i was talking about last week how i didn't what was oh, yeah. I wasn't you didn't sure. know if it was true i told you it was real. yeah man. no but the, the crazy thing is is that even after she leaves vic decides to move in with her 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 dad and his girlfriend well you know why right yeah well she she feels he's better with her she says and all these kind of things but well, no she uh, was doing it because she didn't she wanted to watch over him she was yeah, scared. Yeah. She, she was she afraid that, that she was living with the bartender. Yeah, exactly. And then what's what did the mother say? The mother said, "If you see alcohol in if there, you see hard liquor." She said, "Yeah, home, you're right? out. You know, yeah. I want you to leave." And at the end of the episode, after she everything, anyway. she goes into the fridge to get the ice over her eye. Oh and yeah, and bottle of vodka right, in there, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So it's like she's almost in denial about um, just maybe what she. What her father does or doesn't do. Remember with episode one with the the punch, and we talked a little about the punch and how beating the yeah. mother. Yeah. Uh, was that the first time you ever did it? Is you know, it's kind of making me sway that she kind of is in denial a little bit with her father. Well, that's what I said. And yeah, regardless, I... you 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 yes, yeah, you were you were right about that. It's just there's still there's something really special, some kind of a bond with them. Well, it's she, her dad. It's her. Wanna... You know why? Dude, and because... she doesn't want to see. She doesn't. I don't think she wants to see well, certain things it's... that she may. Or may not know her truth. He's the only person that believes in her. So that's yeah. one of the reasons why she's defending yeah. him and wants to be around him because the mom, why do you think she left, dude? She's like, the mom doesn't even want her to go to school. So she's like, I'm yeah. out of here. I'm going to go with somebody who actually appreciates 
you know, in his own weird way, what I can do and where I am and, and all that stuff. So, so in that way, it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's a, not, not a bad dynamic and it's not a bad, um, uh, plot to, to give a background of what's going on in her family. No, we want to know thought, what kind of person she is and yeah. where she came from and what she's dealt with over the years. So like I said, it's the second episode. So we're getting a lot of that stuff. It's, it's all character driven right now and, well, right, and yeah. the background of everything. But now we have Maggie and Vic finally met. We know that Manx has already, he's already started looking for her. Yeah. You know, he, um, we already know that that's where he wants to go. Um, mm-hmm. So let's go there. The, the more interesting part of this episode is when he goes and talks to Bing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, what's his name again? Bing Quartermain? What the heck is this guy's name? I forget his name. I, right? ju- I just wrote Bing. His first name is Bing. Yeah, he's every, a janitor you know guy. Bing. He's yeah. Vic's friend that she gives comic books to. He writes a letter to, you know, applying to Christmas Land. Super creepy, right? Though? So that was like weird. the dream. Yeah, it was dad <laughs> and then holding he sees the dead. His mo- yeah, very, yeah, that's exactly. what I want to see. The, the, see, that's where the show shines. I think. Yeah. Show me some of the creepy stuff. The creepy kid with the letter and like mm-hmm. the man in the moon, and and then he so he gets him. So basically, so Manx, we know Manx has the ability to probably control or or access other inscapes. Maybe his inscape is he's brought this car, this uh, the wraith, which will you know we'll get into in a minute. Because there's specifics about that, but yeah. you know, so he brings him to the, this graveyard of what might be. So, so let's jump into that real quick, Mikey. What do you think? Because he he lies to Bing. We know he's lying, and he says obviously that, he's trying to recruit him save, to be the next. Right. We're going to save these children of of horrible parents, which sounds great. Exactly. And exactly. Bing was also one of these kids as well. So mm-hmm. that's why he's like one of the. Per- I bet you everyone that he's ever taken yeah. an adult is is from the same cut, cut from the same cloth, so to speak. So yeah. they see these kids underneath the thing. Now, this is freaky. So this is was this was an inscape. I'm telling you, this was something this was fake. Obviously. This is completely fake that that he brought this that he brought this human to to see like what his answer would be. Because none of that's real. None of, I believe none I of mean, that's I real. Don't, I, don't, I mean at first so I at first I was like, oh man, are those the kids that he's gonna abduct? Answers yes. So, and then I was like, so he only takes kids that might die or in a bad place? I said, or is this just what he shows adults to help? I see, I don't know. I mean, I'm still a little confused. Uh, I think the jury's still out in my book about what what the graveyard, um, you know, is. I think it's Um, fake. I don't necessarily know it's fake. I can kind of maybe agree with your point that you say maybe it's the children that – that uh, he's plotting on. Well, no, that's what he um, said. He he ac- he actually said that. He said these yeah, are the but, kids that I'm looking to save, and he wants to save. He says I need you to save. 10 well, then kids I don't know me. if it, I don't know if you would use the word fake. Then maybe it's the it's the potentials. Well, and no, but what I'm saying is it's not. That's not a. It's not real in that, uh, dude. It's it's a supernatural place. It's just well, a supernatural uh, place. So that's what I first, mean by not at, real. At you know? first, what I believed is it was a real place, and I right. thought that those were the people, the kids that he already had or initially that, right, yeah. that were trapped, and then almost it shows like like that was their soul mark, or yeah. something. Yeah, um, I, I'm not. I mean, I'm not really sure, and that's what I wrote. I'm just like kind of like wrote a couple question marks there. I mean, basically. Um, that's where they had the conversation, Bing and Max, about we have to save these children and this and that, and then we're seeing these people, the, uh, these these kids trapped under the ice. So I'm, for me, I'm not sure um, what exactly the graveyard well, means. Yet. Well, here, well, here's the thing. He, this was a test. If Bing hesitated and said, "I don't know," okay, then okay, maybe I will help you. Or if he said no, like obviously he's not going to be the one that's going to help him. But the fact that Bing that's didn't hesitate. Point. He didn't, yeah. he didn't hesitate. He didn't hesitate. So well, let's see. Let's see what happens when his first quest really um, spooky it, snowmen, bro. Starts. Yeah, spooky oh, that was cool, snowmen. Right? I love it. I love this stuff. So let's let's go to let's just the, the last thing I want to just discuss is the whole thing. They go to a uh, so, you know Maggie's trying to get her cop friend to find to find this wraith. They go to a, a junkyard that sells wraith parts. Turns mm-hmm. out the woman's son and grandson were killed. And well, or disappeared. Taken. They were taken. You yeah. know, she says they were taken, dude. So we know Joe Hill, the writer of this book, is Stephen King's son. Stephen yes. King wrote Christine. That was Christine. Yeah. That little car was pulling some Christine stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Well, could, how she talked about it. How she she talked said about it. The, she said the car. The, the car, car had it, a mind of its I own. I wrote it. Pulled the Christine, man. You know yeah. that's Christine. 
Yeah. You know, so which is a it's, a, it's a, that's a classic like horror film, you know, and it's it's uh, so I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was a really nice homage that, you know, he probably yeah. just like because he's like trying to, you know, pull a little bit of his dad's writing in there. Like, I just liked that. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah. So, yeah, you know this and what was that 30 years ago or something she said i forget how uh, long yeah Nin- oh, she knew the exact date or something and the guy's like that's pretty specific but yeah so i mean very cool stuff this is but this is the stuff i want to see and mm-hmm. and i think now that we've got a little more story stuff now that they've now that maggie and Vic have met and we know manx is after her now now that he's got his accomplice i think it's going to start moving a little bit quickly i think it needs to move a little bit more quickly um, um I, I, I mean, I really haven't felt like uh, the pacing needed to be boost, you know, boosted. I know up it's kind of weird that I say now, that, but, but I, I still kind yeah, of feel I mean, a I, I, little <laughs> bit. I'm just checking to see. I want to see how many. Um, so there's ten episodes. That's what I thought. There's ten episodes. Yeah, there's ten episodes. Um, but but again, you know, these you know we, things things are going to have to start to heat up, and 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 I think the quicker it gets into it, the more the more good stuff we can get to. Oh, I think so too. And if you saw the coming attraction, which I'm sure you watch because you usually watch it, there was there's like the dialogue between Bing, uh, Manx and Bing yeah. about. Uh, well, that's what I the think rest he of the says. He's, still, there's, he still there's, there's said, still... well, regardless, he he yeah. says Vic's name, and that's right. where I'm 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 kind of excited to see how Bing is going to react to that um, when that episode comes around. But yeah, no, overall, like, you know, a cool episode. It's very interesting. It's creepy. Like she's, you said, you know, what's going to happen, dude, is uh, that she's going to, um, the, w- the little girl is going to yeah. get taken. What's the little girl's name? Haley. I yeah. think she's going to end suck- up getting taken. And then that's, what's going to bring Vic, Vic obviously. Uh, that's what I was going to actually say. Mm-hmm. Um, the two people that actually saw the bridge, which I was actually um, kind of surprised by. Oh, they can see it. Well, you know what it is, yeah. Mike? The, here's my explanation for that. Yeah. Everybody, because because creatives, it's it's not, technically it's not anything out of the normal per se. It's that they live in this, that universe. So the universe of this Nosferatu is, there. there's magic, there's imagination, there's another world mm-hmm. that you can access. That's what That's what the whole point is. And yeah. just because someone happens to be, just because, let's say, you're a stronger creative than I am, it doesn't mean that I'm not, it's just that I'm not as strong as you. But because I still, I am, we all are inherently creative, that's why I believe a normal quote unquote can, can see it because everyone so far has seen it. The, the, the friend, the, the guy at the other side, when they went to the beach bar, the girl. Yeah. So yeah. So everybody can see that. Um, yeah. it's well, just, let's see if any you know, of these other people can cross. Maybe the little girl Haley eventually cross. Well, no, well, I, I, see, I don't know. <laughs> you that, know that's or, interesting, but I think this yeah. is, this just happens to be, um, uh, Vic's way of manifesting or, or, or slicing through the two. Yeah. And also it takes a toll on them. Real, you know, you know, real quick. Maggie ends up when she uses her power, she gets a stutter, and then when Vic uses it, she gets this pain no, I, in her in her yeah. eye and stuff. So this, so it's not without consequences. So what does that mean? Does that mean that when Manx uses it, is is when he's using the power of the car, he's manifested this car in Christmas Land? Is it make? Is that what's making him old? Is that what's draining his life force? Because he's doing that, and that's why he takes the kids. So, I mean, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Again, Maybe. Mike and I have not read the book, so yeah. we are going at this purely on this. Nor will level. we. Until... Nor will we. I'll read it. I'll read it maybe after the first season. Maybe after we're done or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's, like I said, another good episode. A lot good of cool, stuff. freaky like stuff. It. So uh, I'm excited for episode three. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are watching AMC's new series, Nosferatu, uh, I hope you're watching us, obviously, on our reviews. Write in the comment section below. Let us know what you're thinking about the new series. I do know, I don't know if you realize, know this, Chris, but that if you do have AMC's premium plan... Yeah, they're already, you can, you can watch all it. 10 episodes. Yeah, I and saw that. I was that. Like, kind of disappointed about that a little bit, especially... Um, since we're doing these based on each episode yeah. and, and, and every week. So hopefully you guys continue to watch if you do have the premium and you, and you actually um, uh, binge them already. Regardless, let us know what you guys are all thinking, third yeah. person on all the social medias. Uh, we love to hear from you. That's like one of the funnest things about putting these videos out is True. is to get um, some And we will get back to you. Sometimes media. it takes us. Sometimes, you know, Mike and I work full-time jobs. So we're so sometimes yeah. we get real busy and we don't get time to jump on there. But, we try to, you know, we try we'll to get, get to you there. guys, especially we'll once on. we know when the video is being uploaded and everything. We try to make sure we have some time allotted. Yeah. So uh, all that fun stuff, thirdpersonpod.com and the Google searches, you can find us. It's very easy. Thanks.
thanks again for always supporting and watching us and this new series support us at this this is a new show that we that we're doing we're trying to we're trying to build up a, a little publicity for this show i don't know how well the ratings i don't know if you've looked at them chris or anything nah. like that but it, it's an intriguing show so we're excited to do it and let's see what happens yeah we'll at least get the first season done so I, I don't think it'll be canceled before that. But anyway, that's it. Everything Mike said. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode for Nosferatu. Good night. Right.